Hi children, welcome back to school, digital schooling. Hope you are all eagerly waiting for max class because we are going to start a new chapter today. Do you have any guess what chapter are we going to start today? Yes, with the help of the name of the file you would have found out. It is about linear equations in one variable in part 1. Okay, before getting into the session, as usual, let's have a thought. Today's thought is about anger. Holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. You are the one who gets burned. It is said by Buddha. See here, as humans, we all get anger. But the way to show it, there are people who hold their anger purposely. They will not show it out immediately. They will hold it purposely and they will be waiting for a moment to show their anger. Such an act is like holding a hot coal in our hand. What will happen to our hand if we hold such hot coal? Coal in the sense it will be very hot burning coal. It will burn our hand. The same way, if we hold our anger with the intention of showing it out to the person who made us anger, will burn us. It will put us down. It will not help us in any way. So, the right way when we get anger is to control our anger. Many of us use different tactics to hold our angers. Just counting 1, 2, 3, etc. up to 50. Yes, good. But I used to suggest one more idea. If you get anger, just go and wash your face and hands. It will make you calm. Another thing is, if you are getting anger while you are standing, sit down. It will not allow you to go ferociously to show your anger. And while you are sitting, if you get anger, just lie down. It will make you calm and you can control the anger easily. And there is one more saying also about the anger. The one that angers you, the people, the one who is making you anger, controls you. If you are getting anger by someone, that someone is controlling you. Do you want to be controlled by others? No, definitely not. Don't give anyone that power, especially the one who does it intentionally. In your life, there may, you may come across people who makes you anger purposely to put you down. So be careful, anger is always danger. Try to develop the habit of controlling your anger and be calm always. There are some situations where we should, should anger also. Parents can show anger on you. Teachers can show anger on you. It doesn't mean that they don't know to control their anger. They do it purposely to make you up. They make you to shine in your life. Okay. So anyhow, Anger is danger that uh, you should not be taken aback by that anger. Okay, children. And today we are going to talk about a language. Language is the light of the mind. Without a language, we cannot show our thought to anyone. We cannot share our thought. We cannot say our thought. Whatever new idea that blooms in our mind cannot be taken out without a language. Language is the light of the mind. Now, especially, mother language is the only language where writers and every person in the world can express their feelings without even halting for a second. If someone asks us to give a lecture in our mother language, no one will hesitate to talk. It comes out like a flood with a very good flow. But it will not be the same when it comes to foreign language. We do hesitate for a second or a minute. Yes, this hesitation is because we are not fluent in that foreign language. But if you are fluent and if you practice well even that foreign language, we can be good in expressing our idea in that language. So learning a language and getting fluent to that language is a must to put out our, put out our ideas. Okay, and today we are going to Learn Max language, as I used to say. In Max language, we do have numbers, 
operations alphabets like other language have alphabets in english we have alphabets in tamil a little bit tricky too many letters and in hindi also we do have consonants vowels isn't it okay in max language i consider numbers operation and alphabets are the basic components to make max language see here we have some lang english expression sum of 80 and 84 it takes more space to write isn't it but if i write in max language how will i write it's very simple 80 plus 84 with a symbol plus symbol isn't it when it comes to number divided by 4, instead of writing the whole word number, we use the letter N by 4. It occupies less space, less energy, less time. So, mathematicians are always smart. Then twice the number of number and 5. Very big no? Twice in the sense double. So, what number we will use when we talk about twice? It is nothing but 2, number 2. So, 2 into sum of, sum in the sense plus a number that number can be n or x or y and 5 so i can write mathematical expression as 2 into a plus 5 in all these mathematical expression what do we have yes children we have variables and constants along with that we have operations plus minus division multiplication we have, we do represent this variables like an open box. Why? This open box makes us flexible, makes it flexible that we can put in one value and we can take it out. And we can place another value and we can take it out. So, this variables can change and it is free to access. Whereas, this constant once placed is fixed, it's closed, no one can change that. For example, we have pi value in a formula of uh, area of circle and perimeter of circle. That pi is equal to 3.14 or 22 by 7. In no place, it will be changing. It will be the constant every time. See, but variables can vary, it changes. So, I can define variable as the word variable means something that can vary, that is, that can change. A variable takes on different numerical value. Its value is not fixed. It is not fixed. And it is usually denoted by small letter alphabet, small x, small y, small z, small m, any letter alphabets. But it should be represented using small letters and not capital letters. And with the help of this variable, we are going to see a new word that is related to our chapter. It is nothing but equation. What is an equation? An equation is a condition on a variable. If I apply a condition to that variable, it becomes an equation. For example, if I say a variable, let that variable be your max mark. If I say your mark in periodic assessment plus 5 should be equal to 90. It's the condition that I fix it to that variable. Should be equal to, should be for 90. It means I am posing a condition to that variable. So, it becomes an equation. When I pose a condition on a variable, it becomes an equation. In equation, it's a must to have equality sign. Okay, it's a must to have equality sign. Because of that, we have LHS, right hand, left hand side and right hand side. Whichever lies right side of the equality sign is right hand side. Whichever lies to the right, left side of the equality sign is left hand side. Here is an example in this equation. Left hand side is 4x plus 5. This fully. And here only one number. But it is not always necessary to have only number in the left hand side. Even here, sorry, in right hand side, you can have an expression, another expression, mathematical expression like this. 4x plus 5 is equal to 6x minus 25. Even this is also an equation. We have variables in both the sides. Is it clear my dear children? Now, if there is some other sign other than that equality, is it an equation? 
No, it is not an equation. Come on children, now guess some situation where we will not have equality sign and we will have some other sign. Guess conditions other than equal to. Do we have any other conditions other than equal to? Yes, it's a condition that you, the marks should be greater than 35 out of 100 to be passed greater than or equal to. So, these are also states some condition, but these two condition will not make that expression an equation. Is it clear? If we have greater than or equal to sign, it is not an equation. We call them as inequalities. Like equation have solution. I have not told, talked to you, talk to you about solution. But then I tell you, we can also find solution for inequalities. Is it clear? That you will learn in your higher classes. Now, every time we, when we buy something, conditions apply. Yes. Here too, we have certain conditions. When we come to the concept of equations, two expressions should have equal value. Okay. Both the left hand side and the right hand side should be well balanced. It should be equal. At least one of the two expression must contain the variable. There should be a variable. Without a variable, we cannot have an equation. So, 8 minus 3 is equal to 5. Is it an equation? Of course, by the definition, it's not an equation. But, we call it as numerical equation. Okay, children? For In some places, we do come across such numerical equation, but very rare. Okay, but it's not an equation remains the same when the expression on the left side and the right side are interchange instead of writing 8 minus 3 is equal to 5 i can write 5 is equal to 8 minus 3 i am changing their positions 8 here uh, sorry 5 to the left hand side and 8 minus 3 here this is acceptable without changing any signs you can just interchange their positions is it clear my dear children now here i have an Equation. What is that equation? X plus 3 is equal to 8. Here I have placed it in a physical balance. Equation is like a balance my dear children. Left hand side and right hand side should always be equal. Should be well balanced. Okay. Now it should maintain. We should maintain the balance. Here I have to find the value of X. What should I do now? I don't want this 3. I have to remove this 3. So, I will subtract 3 from this side in this pair. If I do here, I should do the same here. Isn't it? Otherwise, it will disturb the balance. So, what will I get here? I will get here x because plus 3 minus 3 will get cancelled. And here, what is 8 minus 3? 5. So, what will be our solution? x is equal to 5 is our solution. What I have done? Without changing the balance, I subtracted 3 on both sides. Isn't it? So, if we add, subtract, multiply or divide both sides of the equation by the same number, the balance is undisturbed. With this concept, we do have another rule which we use regularly. Changing side is called transposing. We do change sides, isn't it? From right side, left side to right side. This is what we have practiced even last year. Changing sign plus means it will change to minus. If it is in minus, it will change to plus. If it is in multiplication, it will change to division. This rule is called as transposing rule. Is it clear, my dear children? Okay, now let's have an example. X plus 3 is equal to 8. Adding minus 3 that we used to do in a regular logical method that I have showed you now, no, using that balance. That is, this is what I got the answer here. But in the rule of transposing, what have I done? I have transposed this plus 3 to this side as minus 3. So what is 8 minus 3? 5. It is, isn't it very simple? With this logic only we got this. So you can freely use this rule of transposing without any hesitation. But you should know what is the logic behind this rule of transposing. It's nothing but adding or subtracting or dividing. Whatever it is, it is done on both sides of the equation. That is the basic logic in solving an equation. That is to get the solution of the equation. Okay, children, let's continue in next video. Thank you.